Hi guys, this is John with Music Greatness. Today we're looking at Lovely Day by Bill Withers. We're going to start by looking at the intro and the first verse, which sound like this. So what you just heard there was the intro to Lovely Day. Now this song is in the key of E major, which has four sharps, F sharp, G sharp, C sharp, and D sharp. Although, as you can see, we do play a few other notes that are outside of that key signature. And now, first of all, let's break down the chords that you're gonna see in this intro section. We'll start with an E major. So that's an E for the left hand, and then B, E, and G sharp for the right hand. So that's an E in second inversion there in your right hand. The next chord here is a C sharp minor seven. So if you see your right hand stayed exactly the same and the left hand just moved down to a C sharp. So that's a C sharp minor seven. C sharp, B, E, and G sharp. The next chord is an A major 7. The right hand will just change the bottom note to a C sharp and the left hand will do an A. So that's A, C sharp, E and G sharp. A major 7. After that we've got A, C major 7. So that's C for the left, B, E and G for the right hand. And then the final chord to learn here is a B minor seven. That's a B for the left, A, D, and F sharp for the right hand. So now let's get started with this intro. We're gonna start off with four bars of just the left hand on its own playing that iconic bass line. So the notes here are three E's in a row, and then a B, and then an E again. And the timing here will be one and two E and a three. And we'll finish that bar with three sixteenth notes. Four E and a one. And we move into the next bar with this C sharp on the downbeat. So that whole bar looks like this. One and two E and a three. Four E and a one. Now this next bar is exactly the same rhythm as that first bar, only with some different notes. C sharp, G sharp, C sharp, and then G sharp, C sharp, G sharp. One and two E and a three, four E and a one. So we now go to the next bar with an A. Let's now recap those first two bars, which both have exactly the same rhythm. One, and two E and a three, four E and a one, and two E and a three, four E and a one. Now in this next bar, we're gonna start with exactly the same rhythm on this A, one and two E and a, but this time there's nothing on the fourth 16th note of beat two. We'll just go straight to playing an A on beat three. And then on the fourth sixteenth note of beat four, we'll do a G sharp and then an A at the beginning of the next downbeat. So the timing there for that third bar is one and two E and a three, four E and a one. And now this fourth bar is going to start off exactly the same as that bar. One and two E and a. And then we'll finish this bar with four eighth notes. C, C, B, B. Three and four and. So let's recap bars two and three. One and two E and a three. 
four e and a one and two e and a three and four and. So now let's recap the whole of the last four bars. One and two e and a three, four e and a one and two e and a three, four e and a one and two e and a three, four a one and two e and a three and four and. And now we'll move on to the next four bars of the intro. This is where the strings come in and we're going to make use of that E major chord that you learn in the chord breakdown. Then in the second bar we'll use that C sharp minor 7. In the third bar we'll use the A major 7. In the fourth bar we'll do the C major 7. And then at the very end of that fourth bar we'll do that final chord which is a B minor 7. So first of all, let's break the bass line down here. It's almost exactly the same as what you've just done up until the end of the third bar. So the first two bars are exactly the same. One and two E and a three, four E and a one and two E and a three, four E and a one and two E and a three, four. And then at the end of this bar, we'll do and a one. So whereas before we did a G sharp on the 4th 16th note of beat 4, this time we're going to do two notes. That'll be an A on the 3rd 16th note and a B on the 4th 16th note. So that's 4 E and a 1. And then this next bar has exactly the same rhythm as the 4th bar of the intro, except we're going to use a C at the beginning instead of an A. So 1 and 2 E and a. And then after that, it's exactly the same as before. Three and four and. So let's recap the bass line for those last two bars. One and two E and a three, four E and a one, and two E and a three, and four and. And now let's include that right hand, which is imitating the strings on the record. So we'll start with that E. So what's happening there is that on the 3rd 16th note of beat 4, we play this D sharp and F sharp. Then on the 4th 16th note, we switch quickly back to that original triad, B, E and G sharp. 4, E and A. And with the left hand, that's 4, E and A. So the upper part of this C sharp minor 7 chord actually happens before the beat and then the C-sharp happens on the downbeat. So let's recap that whole bar with both hands. One and two E and a three, four E and a one. And then when we get to the end of the next bar, we're going to do exactly the same thing with this D-sharp and F-sharp, taking us to that A major seven at the beginning of the next bar. One and two E and a three, 4, E, and A, 1. So to recap the first two bars there. 1, and 2, E, and A, 3. 4, E, and A, 1. And 2, E, and A, 3. 4, E, and A, 1. Then at the end of the next bar, we will do the D sharp and F sharp again. But this time they're going to just be on the and of beat 4 and nothing else. So one and two E and a three, four E and a one. Then we land into this next bar with a C major seven, playing the bass note two more times. And then on beat three, nice and simple, we'll play the C major seven again, followed by the B minor seven on beat four. So that final bar of the intro is one, and two E and a three and four and. Then we start the beginning of the verse with this E major again. So let's recap those last four bars.
and now we're at the beginning of the verse. And at this point you'll be pleased to know that you've learned almost all of the elements that you need in order to play the verse. The left hand will start exactly the same as the first four bars of the intro. And then the right hand will start with exactly the same as bars three and four of the intro. But now on this occasion, we'll just hold the upper part of that A major seven chord all the way through to the end of the bar. We won't have a D sharp and F sharp at the end this time. Then in the next bar, we'll play that A major seven again so including the left hand, the first half of that bar will be 1 and 2 E and A. And then we'll finish in exactly the same way in which we finished the intro. C major 7, B minor 7. So the first four bars of the verse look like this. then back to the E major for the final four bars of the verse. For these final four bars, the left hand is going to be almost exactly the same as the second four bars of the intro. But in this final bar, we're going to do C, 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 C sharp, which then moves up to a D at the beginning of the pre-chorus, which we'll see in part two of this tutorial. So that's the left hand taken care of. Now let's break down the right hand. For the first three bars, the right hand is going to do exactly the same as at the beginning of the verse. And now we're going to start this final bar in exactly the same way as at the end of the intro with the C major 7. But then on beat 3 we jump up to spread the upper notes of a C major 7. So that's a G, E, B and G. So the timing there is 1 and 2 E and a 3. So make sure the G lands on beat 3 with this C whereas the other three notes are slightly before. So we're spreading down onto that G. One and two E and a three. Now that's quite a big leap and the way we can smooth that out is by playing the pedal on beat two. So one and pedal. And then if we hold this chord, one, and pedal and then we're at the beginning of the pre-chorus here so let's now recap the final four bars of that verse And that's the whole of the intro and the first verse learned, guys. Let's now recap the whole thing at a reduced tempo.
Okay, and once that's comfortable, let's then recap the whole thing at full speed. Alright guys, that's all for the first part of this tutorial. If you'd like to learn the rest of the song, please head over to musicgreatness.com. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.